Eric Camacho, we've got post time, obviously, in the juvenile. Taking a look at the race, how do you see the race playing out? I saw the draw. We have the one hole, which which I don't think really matters with this horse. He breaks well. The main thing is just getting him out and put him in a good position, and he'll do the rest. Projected to be some rain coming up on Saturday. How do you think he's going to deal with an off track, potentially? I think he can run on just about anything. Um, his maiden race was uh, off the turf. So it was originally scheduled for the turf. They went on, ran on a wet track that day. So uh, I don't think the, the rain or any, any precipitation is going to hinder him in any way. Now, okay, we got the race out of the late. Let's just talk about post time in general because he has quite the personality. Just uh, fly away with describing post time as an individual. Yeah, he's unique. I, I can, I've been on a lot of horses, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I don't think I've ever been on a horse like, just like him, the whole package. Um, his antics, his, his talent, his greenness, I mean, it all comes, comes together, all together. And uh, he, uh, he's just a knucklehead horse, and we get along. You know, he's starting to grow up. The last two weeks or so, he's really turned around and, and putting, his, putting his foot down and, and getting in the game. So I'm really excited about him. And we're all excited for you, Eric Camacho. How does it feel to be back kind of in stakes action competition again? Yeah, it's great, you know. You get a little nervous before the race, but once you get a leg up, all that goes out the window. It's game time. Um, I've been given the opportunity by Brittany to ride this horse, and I thank her for, for the opportunity. I thank Miss Charles for the opportunity. Um, you don't get this very much, so glad to, glad to have this shot. Now, how are, what's your game plan? I feel like the game plan in the post parade is potentially more important than the game plan in the actual race. Do you have any, because he is a quirky horse, do you have any action of what you're going to be trying to, what do you do to get him calm before the race? The benefit I have is I get on him every day. So we've grown together. We've, uh, we've become a team. I know him. He knows me. His maiden start, he came out the paddock and he stood on his hind legs. I didn't panic. I just sat with him, stood, stayed with him. He was fine after that, ran a huge race. He came back in the allowance race and he was really good with a pony that day. So I have no concerns about the post parade tomorrow. If something were to happen, I'll just turn him loose and just be me and him. Eric, uh, best of luck for tomorrow. Thank and you. It just, it's just a testament to a really good way that you handle horses, especially a horse like post time. Best of luck for Saturday. Thank you very much.